action. Let's go. Let's start it off. With the banger. I feel so much peace staring into the heavens until a piece of it fell. <laughs> a way to stop them. You will find it. So it's Rainbow but Siege, but with aliens? You will find me that must mean that the gameplay... First. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that must mean that the gameplay is lit. Like, this game must play like a charm. Zombie-like things are humanoids a little bit. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh, that one is definitely exploding. One, right? It's gonna explode. Yep. Let's move up. You got all the video game cliches. <laughs> what is this? RC car. Oh my, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, like... Oh, play more. Oh, okay. Check. Make for the exit. It was like a like an apex. Okay. Big boss guy. Oh, shooting back. Right? That's what it looked like they were doing. Like they were literally shooting back. I guess that's what they meant by um, they evolved too. Okay. Blow the door. Um, we can't see the explosions too big. Hello, you might wanna. Hey, you all throwing me a party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too bad you missed all the fireworks. Team, it's Ash. We're not done yet. VIP down. And Okay, keep it ball rolling. September 16th. Okay. Let's go. Now I know you must have. Oh, I thought this was a game, bro. I thought this and was a game. Answers, I was about to say, what well the, the fuck? Gameplay walkthrough coming up, so hang tight. Alright, cool. My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer. What's up, Richard? To you from North Carolina. We're thrilled to be back to give you an introduction to Rainbow Six Extraction. Okay, let me drink my um, coffee. With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's gonna be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's gonna be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented evolving alien threat. Some of the operator's abilities, gadgets, and tech should feel familiar to Siege players but this time, okay. as you progress through the game, you'll unlock new ability upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically designed to take on this new threat. Okay. So the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar, but what happened to Hibana? She got captured. 
In extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If you or a teammate falls during an incursion, you're gonna go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You oh. and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. That is insane. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Okay, so I'm like, stay Balancing to the risk and reward talk, scenario is going to be talk tough. off kind of situation. Bruno, That's can so, you tell us a little bit like more that. about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Archings are an evolved form of the parasite that was first detected a few years ago during the heartbreak event in New Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, and Alaska. This is what where? we know so far. Within the containment <laughs> zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution as incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over the front area of the map and reaction to the player presence. Okay. The parasite is always spreading, always evolving, but it didn't look too happy about the operators disturbing their new home. What are we facing off against? Well, the black goo-like sprawl is probably the first thing you will take on. It spreads to the map once your presence is detected, slowing progress and helping the Archings. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, okay. the shape-shifting shooting spikes, okay. and the apex. There's a lot more species of Archings and mutation that have been observed. More to come on that very soon. This is pre-order now, of course. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the- I am happy they didn't we spend too much to time. Okay. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And Woo! for Rainbow Six Siege like community, we have exclusive unlocks for you in both games. Mm, okay. That's dope. You've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look at some gameplay footage. Here is Rainbow Six Extraction. So, I thought they were gonna jump off the game, but I'm glad that we're getting like a deep dive. But it's it feels content. It Rainbow doesn't Six feel like Extraction. this long the new bloated. Co -op shooter game let's waste Rainbow 30 Six minutes talking about this game. Alien territory. In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center in Alaska. HQ will provide Ooh. additional instructions. Looks good. We need new data on the Parasite's underground network. It keeps evolving, adapting. Plant auto trackers on dormant yep. nests. Looks like seeds. Don't destroy them. <laughs> Which is a good thing. It's As a good a thing. Of three, Ella, Alibi, and Sledge will use their operator abilities to complete objectives, assist each other, this looks like and a obliterate a Call of Duty uh, map. I forget the map, but this looks like a Call of Duty map. That's oh, okay. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life. Not so easy to eliminate in large numbers. Converge on location. Nice and quiet. The nice enemy quiet. reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Eliminate my target. So stealth tactics are the way to go. Ooh, nice, nice. Visual on nest. Place auto trackers for our react scientists. Auto tracker activated. Auto tracker. Bro, I was about to say, what the fuck is that big shit just sitting there? Okay. The parasite generates sprawl, a substance that connects the whole ecosystem. Alert an Archean, and a nearby nest wakes up too. Archeans move faster in sprawl, but operators get slowed down. Take my guy out. The squad can Wait, use the reactor to see bioluminescent properties in Archeans and in the environment. Okay. The contrast helps to better identify targets. Oh my god, okay. That makes perfect sense. Complete. A scientist just gave me the thumbs up. Good job. Identifying Archean variants helps the team determine the best approach to take them out. Okay. Fire the rooter. It can immobilize anyone in front of it. So Sledge will swing around back. 
Uh huh. Oh my God. Okay. So it's, it's gonna. You're gonna have to know the maps as well too. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. So I can imagine that we're gonna be doing this map over and over again. Over. You know. Cause that play was like you had to know that that wall was particularly breakable at that play. You know. Either way, that was pretty cool. That was close. Here, the team can regroup and resupply. Airlock doors will open onto the next subzone, okay. which will be tougher than the first. We need tissue samples from those Archies. Okay. We need them gone. Use your react blade. Another tier two one. Oh. What are they doing? Is that destroying those before it pops or containing it so it doesn't? It's right there. React blade, do your thing. Oh, that one was alive. Oh god. One down. We're not done yet. That's your target. Don't put it to death just yet. Get that sample. We've located Get a that spike. sample. It can fire armor-piercing projectiles. Alibi deploys a Prisma hologram. Deploying the base. Oh my God! Okay. End of the line. The squad can use they the didn't show it. to go further in incursion. They didn't show that fight. The more intel <laughs> they collect, the more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. It's all about teamwork. I like to outsmart that. Outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. There we go. Creating a choke point is a good idea to increase the arc mine's efficiency. Eyes on hostile. And dope. I'm liking that it's literally a evolution of of this thing, a Rainbow Six Siege. That's the way. Keep hunting. I really do hope they support Smash Rainbow Six Siege with some of these upgrades. As far as like, if there's new guns here. That goes over to Siege as well. I think that would be a great way to keep the fan base happy. Wow. That you can have this new experience and still have your core, you know, multiplayer experience as well. The squad can either at the extraction point to bring home the latest intel or move to the next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet. A true test of both tactical team strategy and operator reflexes. Some Arkeans are responding to an elite as if they're communicating. No way we'd let them mobilize against us. Hunt them down until the elite comes out of hiding. They're communicating. Oh, turn. What? Okay. They're like giving each other upgrades and shit. That is crazy. Okay. That's dealt with. The elite will show up any second. Bro, <laughs> what? I was going to say, they're all playing pretty calm. I granted, they're, they're just trying to capture footage and capture, like, the most cleanest, you know, without running around and hiding. But they're all, like, in the face, like, trying, just trying to... An operator in stasis. An operator what? Is now MIA. I don't know if you can hear this, but we're mounting a rescue. Hang tight. Yo, that is insane that you could dead ass lose an operator and then they're out that you can't play you with heard them. It. A rescue mission is underway. React still needs you.
I wonder how that's gonna play if like Operate. me and my friend is playing and together online and I lost threat. mine and squad up with does he lose his or? or step into the containment alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more. More people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally really answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace I love you guys I'm gonna see you guys on the next one